the living gods of the Dunmer It is written. My Varden fell. My but paradise. Be wary, Trevor. Pilgrims have been attacked on these roads. At first, I assumed it was the usual house wobbles. It attacked our camp last night, tore poor Ilva's head off, right in front of me. You must hunt it. You must kill it. Ashlanders once respected each other, helped one another. These nomadic heretics deny the divinity of the tribunal and have no love for the Lies upon lies! Does it give them pleasure to invent reasons to bring us harm? I'm not sure they deserve to be saved, but that's what we have to do. I don't need you starting a blood feud. Sometimes the great gear turns from frustration to opportunity. Drella Teleron of House Redoran at I'm researching... Um, First, pay respect to Farsia Kwam. I just... Hmm. Your footsteps are as loud as a Kaguri's. What is it you want, Outlander? Come to pay my respects, or, uh, Farsia. Have you now? Then you have my thanks, and my curiosity also. Outsiders rarely show us such respect. When they do, it is always because they want something. What do you want, I wonder? Only your blessing to participate in honoring the first Ashkans. Remarkable. You would honor our ancestors. Very well. I give you my blessing. You hesitate. Shall I explain the custom? Each of the four great tribes seek a unique and worthy offering. You must place the gift at the foot of each Ashkan's cairn. What offering should I bring to each cairn? For Ahemusa, an ashen fern. For Erebininsum, the weapon of an exile slain by your hand. For Urshilaku, the bones of a guar returned to ash. And for Zainab, the hidden treasure of a Kwama queen. We will see how much fire you hold in your heart. I heard you are becoming a wise woman. Yes, though becoming is a clumsy word for it. Every daughter of Belaf has worth. When we learn to speak with our water tongue and read the truth in the stones, we also learn the truth of our hearts. The truth is, we have been wise all along. Well, another fetch quest. Hope you're not looking for passage off the island. The crew's on shore leave, see? The permanent kind. Probably tripped over a few of them on the way in. Poor bastards. What happened here? Ugly business. A deal gone bad. I work for an orc boss named Kartog. We're rope fish. People smugglers. Slaves pay us out the arse for a trip to the mainland. When the Kamana Tong found out, they wanted in. Kartog told them to tusk off. So they attacked? Yeah. It came down on us like an arse-branded ogre. We gave as good as we got. It wasn't enough. Kartog and a few slaves fled to the cavern. Come on, a gangster's right behind. Without help, they're as good as dead. Don't suppose you're the heroic type? I'll deal with these Kamana Tong and get Kartag and the slaves out. Oh, good on you for doing this, mate. Kartog's an idiot. But he doesn't deserve what the Kamana Tong will do to him. Like I said, he went in with some slaves. Mabker, Jari Ito, and Wiwaska. You should drag them out too. I'll get your boys out, don't you worry. People that deserve be free. I need healing. Heal this. Who's next?
this. more. Guess there's more than just those. There's to worry about. attention. There, slave. Unless you prefer to lose no. some fingers. Not put me in chains again. No one will. Don't you worry, Cartog. <laughs> Leave these bile creatures to me. Ito. Thank you, stranger. I was near to slitting my own wrists. If it's to be slavery or suicide, I'll take suicide. What happened to the other freed slaves, Makur and Wiwaska? Kartag told us to run. There was much shouting and confusion. Mobkir and Wiwaska ran one way, and I ran the other. I hope they fared better than I did. Those dry-skinned hoodlums almost killed me. What do the Kamana Hong plan to do with you? Difficult to say. Slaves are a valuable commodity. I suspect they would either kill us outright or sell us back to our previous masters. The sum we paid to Kartog was meager. Too meager for the Kamona Tong, anyway. They will not take us home. Far less than he deserved. A turtle heart beats in Kartog's chest. Hard on the outside, but soft on the inside. You see, I hope he has not come to harm. Thank you, stranger. I will find Nakul 
His to protect you. Okay. Three more. Sneaky. Ah, let the beast bleed. A slow death is all he deserves. I do not think. anybody to death. Finish me off or what? I'm not a member of the Kimona Tong. Now, cool asked me to rescue you. Looks like you came up short. <laughs> it's poison, see? Dirty little shrimp douche. couldn't take me straight up. Had to poke me with a poisoned blade. Typical. Did the others escape? 
Jari in that lot? I'm not sure yet. Uh, cool thinks this was a bad this was a bad deal. Why did you defy the Kimona Tong? Moloch, I don't know. Maybe I didn't like the way they asked. Look, I'm no saint. Got a lot of things I ain't proud of. But I'll be damned if some tuskless thugs could to make life even worse for these slaves. They've been through enough. When I've secured them all, I'll let them know. You do that. You. Uh... Rest easy. Dearest Mopker, Bright Moons, my love, Zurich gathered the troop last night and pled our case. Nuzula, Nuzula Za and Hanelar yelled like, like uh, Khajiit, but in the end, our friends decided your freedom was more important than a new wagon. It will take some time to gather the coin, but this one knows she will see you soon. Seek out the ropefish. Cartog, he contains the vessel that will bring you home to me. I love you. Your Alessia. Patrol.
There you are. Please, Sarah, do not hurt me. Wait, who are you? You do not serve the Kumanatong. Ah, oh, thank the Hist. You must help me escape. Two others as well. If those Kamana thugs find us, they will flay us alive. I've cleared the way. Can you get out of here on your own? Yes, I think so. Did you find Mobker? Jari? The Kamana Tong were right on top of us. Jari fled one way. Mobker and I stayed close, but he slipped. I... I left him there. I found Jari. He's on his way out. Sorry, but... Mobker is dead. I knew it. I should never have left him. I can still see the look in his eyes. The terror. Hist, forgive me. You're still in danger. Go find Nakul. He waits for you outside. I will. Thank you, friend. May Sithis guide your steps. Everybody making out? Not cool? There you are. I heard about Mabcare. Damn shame. Where's Kartog? Dragging arse as usual. One of the Kimona Tongs stabbed him with a poison blade. He wants you to continue his work. He's dead. Damn. At least he died knowing you'd rescued this lot. I'll keep smuggling slaves out of Varden, fell sure. And I'll make sure they know why, too. Take this. Kartog will want you to have it. Good luck on the road, friend. Dead. Good luck, you three. Okay. Make these offerings. There's one.
do this one first. There's two. three and the final one to the wise woman now. You surprise me, outsider. All here assembled say you are both brave and courteous, a hero worthy of praise. Yet, I still sense a hidden motive. You showed us respect, so I will do the same by asking you directly. What really brings you to Aldrin? I'm looking for the, the Haran ancestral tomb. Do you know anything about it? I do not know this name, Hilaron. But there is an ancestral tomb nearby. It hides among the rocks to the west, beyond the fire river we call Grura. I would not go there, outsider. Tombs are like guas. Left untended, they grow wild and feral. Have you been inside? No, but I have heard their cries. The spirits that dwell there sound anguished. They have a story to tell, I think. They long to be remembered. I'm sorry, but I have no ear for their tales. My basket is already full of the Ashlander's troubles. That was some first-rate diplomacy. You're practically a clan friend already. I saw you speaking to the wise woman. What did she say? She said there's a tomb nearby, but restless spirits haunt its halls. No surprise there. Without communion, our ancestors grow agitated. We Dark Elves tend to be prickly in life. We're doubly so in death. I have to know if the tomb belongs to my family, but I'm in no great hurry to cut down the spirits of my ancestors. I can investigate it for you. Would you? What a relief. Take this sash. It bears the Hilaron family crest. If the spirits lurking in the tomb are of Hilaron blood, they'll recognize it. It might not keep them from attacking, but it should convince them that your motives are pure. What should I look for? Anything that could prove it's my family's tomb. Seals, engravings, anything. You could also try talking to the spirits. The tablet I found referred to someone named Dranar, a family patriarch. Perhaps you'll find him inside. Three protect you. Well, this turned out to be more of a fight than I thought.
Just getting here was nuts. Alright. Let's do this. Outsider, you bear our crest, but your blood runs dry as ash. You are no Hleron. If you come as a friend, prove your intent, pay homage, or join us in death. Right. Saint Veloth's doing. He taught our hearts to wander. In those days, the first Ashkams called me brother. We linked arms with the other tribes and hunted the great scar. With my spear, I struck the final blow. All of Veloth's children embraced in triumph. Then everything changed. Of course it did. Everything always changes. Scar fell. My people cried out for the quiet life, with crops and strong houses. We silenced our Velothi hearts and settled beside the Fire River. Scar provided with chitin and meat. We thrived. There was peace for a time, then bloodshed. First Ashkans grew old and died. New Ashkans took their place with souls dark as pitch. They painted their faces and slaughtered us with our home and history lost. The last of the Halerans left the wastes in silence. You've paid your respects and listened, even as my family tries to kill you. 
Your heart is pure. Come, find me in my tomb. I will speak with you there. Good. Then we can settle this. Hey, Draenoth. Draenoth. I sometimes forget the courage and vigor of the flesh. Years hard muscles. Make us cold and suspicious. On behalf of my family, I beg your forgiveness. What brings you to our forsaken tomb? Yours is the only living heart that knows our sad tale. You're not forgotten. Your descendant, Rilith Hilarion, sent me. Truly? The Hilarion name survives? Then there is hope for our house after all. You must take my spear and deliver it to this Drelith. As long as a member of my house carries that spear, the strength of the Hilaron lives on. I'll deliver the spear and your story. You want me to tell him anything else? Yes. Tell him that Aldrin was, is, and forever shall be our home. So long as my house lives in exile, the spirits that haunt this tomb shall never know peace. Drelith must claim his share of this land. The Ashlanders control Aldrun. How should he stake his claim? The children of Ash may have forgotten our name, but they will not have forgotten that spear, the weapon that slew the great Emperor Crab. Their wise women and far seers know its power. If he brandishes the spear, they will listen. We shall see. Spirits. There you are. Perfect. Everyone we needed to see. There you are. You're back. Just in time, too. The Ashlander's mood has soured since you set out. I'm not sure how much longer I can linger here. Tell me, did you find anything in the tomb? You were right. It was a Hilarion tomb. Your ancestor, Draneth, told me to give this give you this spear. Is this? By the three, this is Calderas, the Hilarion spear of myth. I've seen illustrations, but I never thought I'd hold it in my hands. Remarkable. Did my ancestor say why he wanted me to have it? Draneth killed Scar with it. Your ancestor struck the final blow that killed the Emperor Crab. So my ancestors fought alongside the Ashlanders to bring down the great Emperor Crab. Unbelievable. But what happened to them? Why did they vanish? The Ashlanders slaughtered them. Draneth wants you to know that Aldrun is your home. Yes. In the shadow of Scar, we found our home. There are few things more sacred than a dead hero's wish. I will see our home rebuilt, our tomb restored. I will honor my ancestors. House Hleron owes you a great debt, my friend. Thank you. In the wise mother, 
I apologized for my haste earlier. I was simply desperate to reunite with my ancestors. That spear. I sense. Where did you come by it? Our mutual friend found it in my family's tomb. It belonged to my ancestor, Dranoth Laren. Dranoth? Wise one. Isn't that... Yes. The unsung. Wiped from our history when he led his kin away from the Velothi path. You know him then? Dranoth battled Scar alongside your people, didn't he? He used this spear to fell the beast. Yes. Dranoth's kin, your kin, were once clan friends. When Dranoth left the path, our Ashkan slaughtered him and his people. A sin that still haunts us. We rarely speak of it. Perhaps we can make amends. I have no quarrel with the tribes, but my ancestors have claim here. Aldrin was... is our home. Absolutely not. The houses claim our land, our livelihoods. They will not take Scar from us as well. Farsia, I have no desire to displace anyone. I will welcome the Velothi people to my table. Your pilgrimages, your cans, your celebrations, all will remain as it is. You have my word. The sins of your great houses do not wash away the unsung's claim. The Velothi people honor the past, even when it is inconvenient. Settle here if you wish, son of Drana. I only pray that Scar is big enough for both of us. Thank you, wise one. You honor me and my ancestors. I vow to show your people equal respect. Good. Good. Uh, that cell. Go talk to the counselor. <laughs> 